Hi everybody, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday, August 18th, coming on this morning with the latest on still very powerful uh, Hurricane Aaron located here just to the uh, northeast of the Turks and Caicos Islands, about 110 miles north of Grand Turk, uh, re-strengthening this morning to a powerful Category 4 hurricane, maximum sustained winds now around 140 miles per hour, and the hurricane is now moving off towards the uh, west-northwest now at about 10 miles per hour. So while the core of Aaron is remaining uh, to the east and northeast of the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas, we're still seeing some impacts here. We have tropical storm warnings in effect for the southeastern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, tropical storm watch for the central Bahamas. Uh, so there's that risk of tropical storm conditions as Aaron continues to grow in size. Also the potential for some flooding rainfall, two to four inches, isolated amounts as high as six inches across portions of those uh, southeastern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands as we go through the day today and into Tuesday. Now if we zoom out a little bit and look at the forecast track of Aaron as we go through the uh, the week, we are still expecting this northwestward motion followed by a turn to the north as we go through Tuesday and Wednesday and then an acceleration taking the center of Aaron northeastward out into the North Atlantic as we go from Thursday into Thursday night and Friday. And while the forecast track of Aaron still has the center of the storm remaining between the North Carolina Outer Banks and Bermuda as we go from Wednesday into Thursday morning, the track has shifted westward since yesterday, which will bring a more, so a more uh, enhanced risk of some of those peripheral impacts into portions of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Uh, but again, Aaron is expected to grow rather dramatically in size. If you look at the wave height field forecast as we get into Wednesday night and Thursday morning, these uh, dark colors here are, wave, are wave, significant wave heights in excess of 20 to 30 feet, even exceeding 50 feet uh, near the center of Aaron. So this is going to make for very dangerous marine conditions across all of the western Atlantic and increase the risk uh, for dangerous and life-threatening surf and rip current conditions across almost the entire U.S. East Coast. And by tomorrow, Everywhere you see in red here, so basically from South Florida through Georgia, North and South Carolina, up into the mid-Atlantic states, Southern New England, with a high risk of uh, life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. So these are gonna be situations where you're not gonna wanna be in the ocean and you're gonna wanna heed any precautions uh, given by your local officials, pay attention to any beach warning flags. And these dangerous surf conditions are gonna continue throughout much of the upcoming week. So it's just not gonna be a very safe environment to be in the ocean. And just a reminder again, even though the weather can be nice at the coast, it can still have dangerous surf and rip current conditions uh, from a hurricane that's well offshore, like we're going to see with Aaron. So never assume the ocean is safe, even if the, if the weather is nice. And please go to weather.gov beach for the latest information on those surf and rip current conditions. As we back up uh, and want to zoom in here, this is a slide from the National Weather Service office in Moorhead City, North Carolina, showing some of the highest impacts we're expecting to see from Aaron here along the North Carolina Outer Banks. So where we're going to see uh, significant, that wave action is going to cause significant uh, surf zone can, uh, roughness, beach erosion, o ocean overwash, especially along portions of North Carolina Highway 12 out here in the Outer Banks. So this area between Ocracoke up to Oregon Inlet is where we're expecting to see some of the most dangerous conditions along the ocean front. And uh, evacuations have been ordered for Ocracoke Island and Hatteras Island in North Carolina. So please see more information from your local emergency and government officials in these areas. Heed those evacuation orders if you've been asked to leave. And again, you can always get more information from your local National Weather Service office at weather.gov. Now, I did mention the track moving a little closer to North Carolina, uh, and that is bringing that risk of tropical storm conditions to the Outer Banks by late uh, Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. So we could see a tropical storm and storm surge watch issued for portions of the North Carolina Outer Banks as soon as later today or tonight. And there is also a risk of tropical storm conditions on Bermuda uh, as we get from Wednesday night into Thursday morning, again, with the large size of air and even with the core of the storm passing well to the north, we could see some impacts there. So as we wrap up here on this Monday morning here, the, those key messages on Aaron, we're going to continue to see heavy rainfall through today over portions of Hispaniola and through Tuesday for the Turks and Caicos and portions of the Bahamas could produce some uh, flash and urban flooding uh, are possible in those areas. Tropical storm conditions expected in those uh, tropical storm warning areas in the Turks and Caicos and southeastern Bahamas uh, today with tropical storm conditions possible in the central Bahamas as we go from later today into Tuesday in that watch area. Aaron's expected to produce life-threatening surf and rip current conditions across much of the western Atlantic Basin, the Bahamas, Bermuda, the U.S. East Coast, up into Atlantic Canada. 
and interest in the Outer Banks of North Carolina and Bermuda uh, could see some more direct impacts from Aaron as we get into the middle portions of the week. We could see tropical storm conditions and coastal flooding possible uh, along portions of the North Carolina Outer Banks uh, beginning in the next day or so and continuing into Wednesday. So please stay tuned for more information on Aaron here. Come back to us at the National Hurricane Center at hurricanes.gov. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.